and welcome back to Let's Play Hero of Leaf Valley. Alright, let's get to work. So the plan for today is to pretty much just keep on do doing what we're doing. There's nothing super important that's like due immediately. So right now we're just concentrating on getting everything unlocked and uh, getting our farm upgraded. Right now I am starting to still trying to save up for a cow, but I think they're about 3,000 gold apiece. I actually kind of forget. We'll check next time we're over at Bob's, which will be in a little bit. Because, yeah, we need to do some part-time work there for some money and for some milk. And then after that, we'll head up to the uh, mine area. I think we're only, like, one or two more sessions away from actually getting, like, the mine unlocked for personal use. Which will be good. Because then I can start getting ores and stuff to start upgrading my tools with. Uh, almost done here. So, yeah, in terms of tool upgrades, I think my actually... My top priority right now is to get my axe upgraded. The watering can actually can't be upgraded in this game, which sucks, but oh well. But yeah, the reason I want my axe upgraded is that by the time we start unlocking the ability to start, uh, what is it? Getting our own lumber? We're gonna need a good axe, because at that point we're gonna have to use our own axe. And our own axe sucks. Like, it is absolutely terrible. Pretty sure with this current axe, I could barely cut down like a like one of the smallest trees with all uh, full stamina. So yeah, I need an axe upgrade as soon as possible. Or power berries. Either one would work. Anyways, that's all the farm work for today. Let's just head over to Bob's real quick. Unfortunately, it is a Tuesday, so we can't do any part-time work with uh, Woody. He's closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's fine. We also want to befriend Lila a bit more when we get the chance. Also, hi, Lewis. I mean, I just went over my plans for the day, but thanks for asking. Anyways, let's go. But yeah, once I get access to eggs, befriending people should just be, like, a matter of time. Except for the Harvest Goddess. She will pretty much only like vegetables and fruits. Mostly vegetables in this game. Also, yeah, let me just check one more thing. How much is a cow? 2,500 gold. Okay. So we only need like about a thousand-ish more. We're also going to need to buy a milker. Also, we could buy a horse. We're not going to buy a horse, though. Because we can get one for free later. But yeah, we'll save up uh, enough money for that. Actually, I no, I don't have a milker or a brush yet. So yeah, it's going to cost like about 4,000 in total. Actually, probably like around 3,000 in total, but whatever. Also, yes, I know how to take care of animals. You don't have to ask me. I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to talk to the horse I like most. And then we'll get the milk and we'll get going. One for you. And we... Oh, right. I should actually get the milk. Alright, we're done here. So, 100 gold and the milk. Yeah, I really should just be giving that milk away to people for as either a gift or as, like, food for the dog. Anyways, so let me see. We're gonna head over to the mine. What would be the fastest way to the mine? Either way is kinda slow right now. Yeah, moving around the valley, it can take a while. Simply due to the fact that there are a ton of loading screens everywhere. Because PSP game. Once we get the horse, it'll be a bit faster, but overall the valley is relatively small, so it's not that big of a problem, honestly. Alright, we're in the mine area. Also later- oh wait, do I have anything to give to the Harvest Goddess? Uh, I have a berry she could have. Yeah, we're not gonna get any big, like, upgrades to our relationship with her until we start growing our own crops. Hi, Charles. God, I don't like you. Charles is like the one unlikable character in this game. Anyways, let's do some part-time work, shall we? Oop, whoops. Oh, I think we finally got a new pattern. Oh yeah, we finally got a new pattern. Okay, so, let me see here. Uh, to solve this one, I think it's... I think it's like this. Some of the beginning ones I remember pretty well, just simply because you do them so many times. So if we do that, 
push you here so that you'll hit the green. Uh, let me see. Because, yeah, this is the one we're going to be hitting. Push this up here. And then, uh, I think it's like this? Yeah, I think so. There's only like two patterns that this beginning room can even be in. So it's like that. That will trigger this and that. That will trigger those green ones. That explosion will trigger that. Go down there. Okay, yeah, I think this is right. Let's try it. Not that it really matters. There we go. Perfect. Well done. Alright, what do we got? I think most of this is just junk ore. Oh, mineral crystals. We do get to keep these, at least. So I'll be using those as fertilizer. Uh, what else do we got? Scrap metal. Yeah, the only problem is it's really hard sometimes to tell between scrap metal and just iron. Iron is slightly shinier, I believe. Is that a rare crystal or a moonlight stone? It's rare metal. Man, I really wish I could keep that, but I can't. More rare metal? Yep. Mineral crystal? Yeah, this is iron right here. I think. Yeah, it is iron. Everything else looks like just junk ore. You could also just go to the entrance and rotate the camera and take a look. Yeah, it's all junk ore. Alright, was that enough times, Rudolph? That's like our... Fourth time? Yeah, that's our fourth time. We need to do it five times, so one more and we should have enough. I think. So we'll have to come back tomorrow. Actually, no, tomorrow is wood day. We'll come back on Thursday and unlock everything. Oh wait, Thursday's a holiday, or a festival day. I don't know if we can do part-time work on that day. Huh. We'll see. Maybe I'll skip one wood day, honestly. Because I do want to get the mines unlocked ASAP. Anyways, that is not my items. That's my items. Oh, we could- no, wait, no, we can't give her a potato. I need to save all these potatoes. Anyways, I wish to get along with. I don't have a horse, I don't have a dog. I don't need strength for anything, and I'm not that tired. So let's get along with girls. Awesome! Some random bachelorette just went up by one friendship point. That's it. Yeah, they're not that powerful, but it does actually add up quite a bit over time. Anyways. Oh, I wonder if the church is open right now. It wasn't open yesterday due to the fact that, uh... Oh, hello there. Hey, Joe. Yes, actually, wait. No, yeah, we did buy a fishing rod. Already have one. But yeah, there are little events around the vet. Oh, a second event in a row. Uh, sure. Yeah, I don't think they expected you to have the fishing rod by now. And yes, I, I know how to fish. Don't worry about it. Okay. But yeah, random little events will happen throughout the valley as you go around. Not all of them are required for uh, the main story quest, though. I'll probably try to point out which ones are required or try to mark them in some way. But a lot of them are just like little random events just to characterize characters better. Which is always nice. Oh wait, the church is open today. No one ever comes to church, but it's open. Hey Chester. Bye Chester. Anyways, let's head home. There's nothing else I need to do right now. Also, uh... Still considering if I should just sell the milk or give it to the dog. I might just start giving it to the dog, honestly. Part-time work gives me plenty of money. I almost have enough money to buy a cow, actually. Actually, with tomorrow's paycheck from the mine, I might have enough to actually get that cow. Wait, is it going to rain tomorrow? I should probably check that when I get home. Uh, free green herbs, like always. I thought I put that on Do Not Disturb. Guess I didn't. Whoops. Whoops. 
Also, yeah, I doubt I can pick the dog up yet, can I? No, it'll always give me a prompt whenever I can start picking up dogs. At that point, we can adopt any dog we want, but we have to choose whichever type we want, either floppy or a pointy-eared. Alright, well, that's everything I need to do today. Let's head to bed. I should do more socializing tomorrow. We kind of didn't do a whole lot today. We kind of didn't run into anyone today, really. It's gonna be rainy tomorrow. Darn it. I think we can still work in the mines on rainy days. I just don't think we can cut down wood on rainy days. Oh! New baby chick! Oh, I didn't think of the name for the last one. Okay, what do we want to name this last one? Also, it's raining. I should get everyone in. Oh, yep, it's raining. Everyone needs to go inside. It's fine. I have the bell. All right, but yeah, what do we want to name this one? So we have Ferris wheel. We have roller coaster. Uh... I guess... Let's see. What are types of ride? Oh, how about log ride? Uh, I think it's technically called a log flume. Let me see, how do you spell that again? F, I think it's F, this. Yeah, it's like one of those log rides where you can get wet on. I think that's how it's spelled. Also, yeah, let's get everyone inside. It is rainy today. Get inside, everyone. Oh wait, I think it's gonna, okay, yeah, it always prioritizes bring animals out before it bring them all in. So now everyone's outside. And now everyone's inside. They're very well trained, all things considered. I'm pretty sure you can't actually train chickens to do that. Alright, so let's get everyone some food. Actually, how are we doing on chicken feed? Do I have to buy more? Uh, yes, we need to buy more. Oh god, what day is it? Okay, good, it's Wednesday. So, uh, Bob's Ranch is closed on Thursdays. Wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's closed on Thursday. I'm stuck. Yeah, let's just head over there real quick and buy some chicken feed then. And we'll head back and uh, get everything fed. Actually, I just need to make sure they're fed before the end of the day. So, we have plenty of time. Oh, also, dog. Oh, I can't get milk today. I do have to yesterday's milk, though. Be my friend, doggies. One day, you will be mine. Although, if I'm going to get a dog, I'm also going to need to buy an ocarina, too. I should also go to the tool shop at some point and see if I can get myself, uh, what is it? I need to see if I can get myself a milker, a brush, and an ocarina. I could get myself a butterfly net too, but butterfly nets are useless. Like, literally useless. You can get bugs with them, but the only person who will take bugs is Tim. And I can just get bugs from hitting a tree. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, you're closed Thursday. Uh, you're not open yet, though. We have another hour. Alright, well, let's just go kill time, I guess. It is raining, though, so no one's gonna really be out at the moment. We could go fishing later, too. I do have fishing bait, so I don't have to worry about, uh, getting trash anymore. Yeah, we might go fishing later. Although my inventory is also kind of full at the moment. Oh, it's also rainy, so we can't talk to the Harvest Goddess. Well, we can. She'll just kind of be angry at me for, you know, making her come out in the rain. Alright, so it's almost 8 o'clock. Let's just go over there real quick. Buy a bunch of chicken feed. Actually, wait. Oh no, that's the last piece I have. Okay, yeah. I need to buy more chicken feed. Then we'll run over to the mine real quick. Do some mining, hopefully... And hopefully this should be the last one before I ha can start uh, mining for myself. Unfortunately, once you start unlocking the ability to mine for yourself, you can't do that part-time job anymore. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's kind of a bad thing in that that job pays really, really... Oh, I don't need that much. Pays really, really well. Like, kind of absurdly well, honestly. Unfortunately, it does take forever to do, and... Yeah, uh, that time is better spent elsewhere. Plus, the ability to actually get our own stuff is better. Also, what time does Lewis's shop open again? 10. Also, it's Wednesday. He's closed anyways. Never mind. We'll come back tomorrow. Assuming he's open tomorrow. We'll also see Lila later, because like I said, I need to befriend her. 
All right, so let's head over to uh, my chickens real quick. Get them fed. Sooner or later they'll grow up, I swear. We'll get eggs eventually. Eventually we will get money back for all this money we're spending on feed. I predict exactly how long it takes for them to grow up in this game. I think it's like a week or two. We'll see. I'll just keep an eye on them. And yeah, since we're we have a full chicken coop now, we're gonna have to upgrade it soon if we want more chickens. But yeah, I think that's all the farm work done. Oh wait, is there anything ready to harvest yet? Not yet. Yeah, everything's still growing. Okay. Wait, are those potatoes done? No, they're almost done. Alright, let's head over to the mines. I really hope we're allowed to do part-time work even when it's raining out. We should be able to. It's a mine. We don't have to worry about the weather when we're underground for the most part. Unless it floods. Then we should probably be worried. But I don't think it's going to flood in there. That would be silly. Oh god, could you imagine if flooding was an actual mechanic in this game? Like, if it rained too much, everything would be ruined because everything's underwater. And considering how much it rains in this game, that would actually be a problem. Okay, no power barriers are ready yet. Also, can we go inside Funland's headquarters yet? No, we can't. We can eventually, but not right now. Hey, Rudolph. Oh, awesome. We can start mining for ourselves now. Nice. Okay, so yeah, now everything we find, we can actually keep. So let's do this. Let's just uh, do a little bit of mining. And then after that, we'll go fishing for a bit, I guess. I was honestly kind of hoping we could mine it or do some more part-time work for him, just for the cash. We're actually really, really close to getting a cow. Actually, the first time, like, my breadfruit come in or my strawberries, we'll be fine. Or when our, uh, what are they called? Potatoes finish growing. That'll give us a pretty big payday. Alright, I think that's right. Oh, also, yeah, that's right. Since we have to do it ourselves, now we have to use our own hammer. But that's not as bad. Simply due to the fact that I can literally do them all in a single swing. There we go. Ooh. I see something sparkly. Is that? Ooh, it's Moonlight Stone. Awesome. We'll keep that. Uh, coal, we'll keep that. There's a lot of requests for coal, actually. So I should just keep anything I find. Ooh, actually, this... Yeah, this mining trip doesn't look so good. Mineral Crystals... I can't tell if that's copper. Oh, it's silver. Better. Is that iron? That is iron. Uh-oh. My inventory's full. Yeah, I need to get an inventory upgrade. Okay, so much for fishing. Is there anything I can dump? Not really. Uh, darn it. Here, Rudolph, you want this iron? I found it right over there. I think we can still fit that coal in our backpack, though. Yeah, let's head home real quick and just put all this stuff into storage. I honestly honestly shouldn't be carrying everything with me anymore anyways. I'm just kind of used to actually having inventory space. That's a shame, but oh well. So yeah, now we can just start mining for ourselves. Also, at some point, I should probably show where that back hallway leads to. It leads to nowhere right now. It'll start leading to other, like, rooms later, but for now, it's just a dead end. Anyways, let's head home. I'm just gonna drop off everything in storage, and then we'll go fishing. Oh, hey, Katie. Whatcha doing? Um, yes, Katie, it was spring. It was like a week ago. I've only been in town for a week and a half. 
I think that dialogue was supposed to trigger next year and not this year, but oh well. Either that or Katie really, really has a bad memory. That is oddly broad. Ooh, I won't tell anyone except Dia. But yeah, Kurt likes Dia, which kind of sucks if you like try to woo her. But it's fine. Hey, doggy. All right, but yeah, let's go put everything in storage. I'm still trying to decide who I want to marry, though. Honestly, Alice doesn't sound like a terrible idea, just because. Uh, what else do I not need? Honestly, let's put away the herbs. I'm gonna keep this with me because I'm gonna go fishing soon. These I can give away to... G no. Lila. Okay, yeah, that'll stay with me for now. We'll just try to catch a couple of fish. Unfortunately, it is raining, so Ponte is not going to be out for me to donate my fish to. Donate. Not to give him my fish for fish prints. Or for recipes. Recipes are kind of useless right now anyways, because I don't have a kitchen. And I can't get a kitchen until I can start getting lumber. Anyways, hi, Lila. It is sad right now. You know what makes it better? Flowers. Also, yeah, don't, don't plant seeds during rainy days. It'll waste all your money uh, to put into the seeds. All right, but yeah, let's go fishing for a bit and then we'll call it an episode. I just want to use the special fishing bait just so I don't have to carry it around with me. I could have put it in storage, but nah. Where's the fun in that? I could also sell the fish for money, honestly. Not a terrible idea. Actually, honestly, probably a really good idea. Also, I'm not going to pick that up because I don't want to clutter up my inventory. Alright, let's do some ocean fishing. We could also go do some lake fishing at some point. So, scatter feed. So yeah, now everything we catch should be fish. So no more garbage. It only lasts this fishing trip, though. Also, we have to actually catch the fish. So if we screw up, we're still going to lose it. There we go. We got ourselves a very, very squirmy eel. Oh, it is also raining right now, so it's actually really hard to see the fish sometimes. Gotcha. What are you? You are a rockfish. Awesome. Is there a fish there? I can't tell. I think there's a fish there. Yes, there is a fish there. Oh yeah, there's definitely a fish there. Man, when they're pale and it's dark out. There we go. It's another rockfish. Isn't it? Yep, it's another rockfish. That's fine. Ah. Uh... I can't. Oh wait, there's a fish. I have no idea if this is even going to show up on video very well. It barely shows up on my screen. They blend in really well with the water when they're like up at the very surface in the white region. Or the light blue region, I'd say. Come on, come on, bite down. Bite? I can't tell if it's even looking at the bobber right now. In fact, that might not be a fish. That might just be a raindrop. I think that's a fish. Is that a fish? It's not biting down, so I don't think it's a fish. Nah. Okay, there's definitely a fish there. A fish that is just not interested in my bait, apparently. Let's try to stick it in front of its face. I think that's in Yeah, that is definitely in front of its face. Come on, bite down. There we go. Awesome, it's another rock. Okay, yeah, we should probably go lake fishing. Looks like all I'm catching right now are rock fish. Oh wait, no, oh, that's too shallow. Yeah, unfortunately that darker fish won't bite down because it's too shallow, I think. Yeah, it's too shallow for him to bite down on. Okay, let's try that again. 
way for- Ah, oh, still too shallow. Darn it. Yeah, he's not gonna bite down. Try that one more time. Got it. There we go. He is very wiggly. It's another rockfish. You're not supposed to be at that depth. Alright, I think I'm done fishing for now. All I'm catching are rockfish. You know what? I'm gonna stop by the, uh, not the hotel. We don't have a hotel in town, unfortunately. I'm gonna stop by the bar real quick and sell these. And then we'll head home and head to bed. Tomorrow is our first festival. Unfortunately, in year one, it's not that great. It's the dating festival. Uh, Harvest Goddess Festival. Although anything we give away during that day will count for, I think, double the friendship points. So we do want to go around and give people gifts on that day. It's also Rudolph's birthday. I think. Is it Rudolph's birthday? I'll double check when I get back. It's someone's birthday. I know that much. Oh, hey, Lewis. Yeah, that actually sounds really good right now. It's raining outside. All right, so let me just check something real quick. Do you want any of the stuff I have? Ooh, we could sell the berries, but I kind of want to keep them to give away. So no. Let's just sell some of these black rockfish real quick. I'm gonna sell two of them. I'll give one away to Ponta and then, actually I'll give maybe give away Eh, I'll keep wanting to give away to Ponta. Get the potatoes. And I don't think there are any more requests. Oh no, there are more requests. I think we can get this one done. And this one, maybe. I might have to keep every single thing I harvest from now on. I do want to sell at least a couple of them for some uh, quick cash. Maybe the reoccurring ones would be good to sell. Oh wait, I have mineral. Uh, breadfruit. I don't think those count. Oh well, we'll see. Anyways, I am going to home and going to bed. Hi, Funland Ranch. But yeah, I think we're gonna call it an episode here. Right after we read this letter. So you get one of these every time there's a new festival that starts, just to tell you what it is. So yeah, basically, today's a good day to give gifts to people. Unfortunately, since we're not like, quote unquote, dating anyone, as in they know me well enough, I'm not gonna get any gifts in return yet, but maybe next year. Definitely next year. Anyways, till next time. It is Ronald's birthday. Okay, got it.